This garden is like a meadow, full of colorful summer flowers. It might look wild and untamed, but it adheres to a carefully planned concept. It was devised by Piet Udolf from the Netherlands. He was the only landscape designer invited to participate in this year's Architecture Biennale in Venice. Everyone else there is displaying building models and housing constructions. It was just a surprise to be asked, uh, someone who makes gardens or landscapes with plants, that they are asked to do a garden on an architectural event. So, and I knew about the Biennale and it's a sort of very important place, but uh, to be honest, I said no when they asked me. But in the end, he decided to take part. He had only four months to design the garden that would make up the final section of the exhibition. The concept is a colorful mixture of plants on two levels, high and low, but without a clear separation. It gives visitors the impression that the garden is a field of flowers. I hope it shows that uh, there's more possible in public space. That the public space can have a sort of more, uh, can be, uh, become a more, of more dynamic space instead of a sort of static space. It's not that I want to change the landscapes, it's just that I want to add something to the landscape. Colorful meadows are Udolf's trademark. He has created many gardens for private homes and public spaces, mostly in northern and central Europe. Udolf's work is also in demand in the United States. In 2004, he planted a garden in Chicago's famed Millennium Park, That success was followed by commissions in New York. Under his direction, the High Line, a disused stretch of train track in Manhattan, became a garden path between the city's skyscrapers. One of my favorite compliments about the High Line is someone said, everything's better on the High Line. I just feel happier on the High Line. And I think that's one of the things Pete's landscape have the ability to do. In 2005, Rudolf planted a garden of remembrance to the victims of September 11th in Battery Park, not far from Ground Zero. His gardens work well in summer and winter because plants bloom at different times of the year. The more I worked there, the more I saw that it really uh, helps people. Uh, that the, and, the, and the place looked awful, so whatever I could do, not only for the victims or family of, uh, of victims, it's also for the people that, uh, that live in the city. Udolf's background is the restaurant business. He worked in his parents' restaurant until his mid-twenties, when he decided to train as a gardener. He founded a design studio in the late 1970s. He and his wife live in Humelo in the Netherlands. He loves to experiment with plants in his own nursery. It helps him to come up with new ideas. Everything in life is a sort of moving forward to the next thing. But I think if you really start, then it becomes a challenge because then you don't want to make what you have done before. Then you want to just give people another a little twist on what, you, what they know of you. That's not easy if you work on five to seven projects at the same time, like Pete Udolf does. He jets around the world, spending a lot of time in the United States, Sweden, and Germany. He says the travel balances his quiet home life, where he and his wife enjoy their own private garden. <laughs> 